hello let's see how we can work with polygon let's say we have drawn two polygons so we have to edit them start editing so let's see how we can move some vertex or we can add some vertex first of all try to add you go here edit vertexes you click on the polygon you click on the borders and here see you can go to next so it draw according to the direction of drawing or as well you can insert a new one or you can delete an existing one let's say if we go here you click delete you see that they have been deleted the selected vertex we can always make undo if you're not satisfied of what you have done here it is or as well go again here you can add a new vertex add you see click on the boundaries here it is with the left button of the mouse so we can insert other vertex why we have to do the in why we can insert vertexes because this can be useful to move and to adapt the shape of the layer to a new uh, dimension for making some correction uh, let's see how we can do let's remove the selection here it is then we go on this tool move geometry one click and then with one click we will move the polygon as it is you see we can move to a new position if you're not satisfied with the second click then we go and we position to one vertex and we can move inside so this is the utility to adding a new vertex once you are satisfied left click and here it is then there are many more tools i will show some of them let's say how we can cut a polygon if we, maybe there is a river or a road crossing it we go for this tool for the tool of dividing the polygon you see here split geometry and the same geometry can be applied also to line for sure cannot be applied to point click outside first click then inside according to the new shape once you are out double click and you see that the polygon has been perfectly cutted so this is a nice tool if you have maybe a road or a two points and you have to to, to align them or to join and then use them to to cut a polygon if we want to add a polygon sharing the boundaries the best options is to use this one insert auto polygon how it works we click on it first point inside then we move outside we go and click until we reach what we want we go inside and once we are only once we are inside and be sure that the joining line is contained all or completely in the polygon we right click terminate and see that this the new polygon share exactly the boundary so there's no possibility of mistaking topological mistakes so we see if we if we select this part and this part there are completely two different polygons sharing perfectly the borders the boundaries then there is other options maybe let's say that we have an inner polygon something that may be uh, a garden inside the house so let's see how it works we zoom on it then we use uh, sorry again this tool you see internal polygon we draw our polygon sorry we have to select okay then we draw inside we end and here see you see that there's a hole uh, why it is important because if we draw a polygon over an existing polygon these surfaces could be doubled so you see that it's not well done if we double a surface in this case you see it's perfectly done if you want to to draw a polygon inside we go just for this auto polygon we draw outside we finish and now you see that your polygon will be exactly divided so here it is 
and here it is. So now you are exactly the, super, the dimension of your garden and of the other houses. And also in this case, you see, if we cut, we can cut only the inner part. The other part will be will remain complete. So you see, that's a lot of things that we can do with this. It's also, let's say, for example, just to show you some tools, I can select this one. And this also, you see, this it's symmetrical geometries. And I can rotate, keeping the same dimension using this axis as the symmetric. So if you have something that you have to perform specular shape, this is a nice tool to give you an exact dimension of the new shape file or new polygon. There are two more tools that I would like to show you. One is this one, stretch geometry, that is similar to what we have seen to move the vertexes. I click on it, I go on one vertex, you see it becomes diff the difference of the cursor. And then now I can move this vertex according to my new shape. So this is a way of moving and changing the size of the vector files. Maybe you see always here you can go back. And this other one that I can illustrate to you, always we select this part and maybe this is a particular shape that I want to keep maybe just changing the dimension but the, the the shape must be kept identical so I can go on this scale geometry and you see I can improve or reduce but keeping always the same shape I have at the beginning so if it's something particular that I want to keep, to keep but maybe just reduce or enlarge I can do it without any problem with this tool and have a look. Just click and you see that the, now the uh, selection, the shape is exactly the same. If I go and zoom, I can see it better. Let's say go and zoom. That the shape has remained the same, but now there is a hole because I've reduced the dimension. So this is a bit a quick overview of some tools that uh, has been uh, developed. Consider that in GVC 2.2, now it's a beta version, there are some more tools for player editing. Thank you so much.